it's it's one game. Um, it's not a tournament. It's not like a, a what you see um, with uh, uh, a charity uh, fundraiser with uh, a sort of old timers teams. This is uh, invite only, and we, we are selecting current NHLers as our targets of who we like to um, participate. Uh, and so it's really an opportunity to see an NHL style game in in Brampton. Uh, you'll see uh, people who are who, who are who are current. Um, uh, exceptional players in the NHL, and it's a chance to see them live. Part of our goal is to encourage a healthy, active city, and of course, uh, uh, learning about the beauty of all our sports in, in Brampton is an opportunity to do that. I would note um, uh, that uh, Dr. Praminder, who does the Hockey Night in Punjabi uh, broadcast, will be doing that here as well for this event, and he's on the organizing committee. He had some professional obligations with uh, Maple Leaf Sports Entertainment today, so he couldn't join us for the official launch. Uh, but we really hope to have this as a celebration of Brampton hockey, um, a celebration of local health care. It's a fun way to raise funds for a great cause. And on that note, um, we can't wait till August 22nd at 7 p.m. when the puck drops. Uh, stay tuned every week for announcements of NHL All-Stars who will be uh, participating in this event. And I'd be happy to take any questions if you have any. So the one, the one in Barrie uh, that I organized over 10 years, uh, the first year it raised 100000 and near the end it was producing about $250,000, $270,000 um, a year. So it was $2 million that was raised over 10 years. Um, and uh, uh, I would uh, note that this is the, the first year, but we, we believe that it's certainly possible to um, raise funds in excess of what was raised uh, in a smaller community. So we've been quite aggressive in our advocacy for uh, proper funding uh, for health care in Brampton. Everyone knows that when it comes to beds, uh, we are uh, severely underfunded. Um, there is a huge ask we have of the province. Uh, Brampton has been forgotten for too long. But that's really an aside. Uh, I believe that elected officials need to, need to advocate on behalf of Brampton's needs. There's a significant one in healthcare, but rather than simply ask, I think it's always good to step up and fundraise yourself, and everyone needs to step up to fundraise for the foundation. There are lots of items that aren't covered when it comes to provincial funding. Now, you talk about this equipment, it's dependent. This cardiac equipment is dependent on the foundation to be able to raise. And when we were speaking to the foundation where there's the greatest need, this was identified as an area that we could really help out. Uh, you know, as you know, Brampton has uh, the highest diabetes rates. Um, so this is a challenge. It causes significant stress on um, the the cardiac unit. And uh, this is a way that um, we can help out at City Hall by raising funds for uh, uh, a worthy cause.